Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is 10.0, Uncle Tim. We got Big Keeson, a.k.a. Tony Big Delicious, Toothless. Big D, and everything else he's calling himself nowadays, Raymond Reddington, um, Remington Steele, and, you know, man, I don't know. He just got too many oh, names. I like that Remington Steele. I might take but, that. <laughs> and, you know, I'm going to say this. And this one, I'm going to really say this, and I'm going to make sure I put it out there. This is what we call the disclaimer. These are just our opinions. And again, these are our opinions. These are opinions based on the way we feel. Not the way you feel. But if you are disagree, we could agree to disagree. And agree. You know, however you want to put it. But I want to make sure I say that in this video. Because it could get kind of touchy. So, my point in this whole thing, and we, I'm going to go ahead with it. Can a woman raise a man? To be a fully function, I mean, can a woman raise a child, a male child, to be a fully functioning adult? By or herself. A man? By herself, no, no male interaction. I believe she can raise him to be a good human being. Mm -hmm. But far as the male aspect, he's going to go find a male role model. He is, mm -hmm. because a woman can't raise a man to be a man. She can raise him to be a good human. Mm -hmm. But that man part, he needs to go out and find. Mm. You know, hell, you can't be his mama and his dick. Mm. That'd be the reason he fucked up in the first place. Mm -hmm. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. On, let me there. slide out the frame. He said that, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe a woman, no. It's just like me trying to teach a young lady how to use a pad or how to use a tampon, you know, or that's not our job. Mm. We don't understand that. So you get a family member, you know, an auntie or something to explain this to them. You would need another male somewhere. I'm not a mother. You need another man, a, a uncle, a cousin or something to sit down and talk to him, explain to him what being a man is about. He's not going to get the gist of it from a woman. Okay. So... My standpoint on it is, I concur with, yes, a woman can raise a male child to be a fully functioning human. And I put emphasis on human. When it comes to the man-male aspect, it's not saying that you can't empathize or sympathize with what it's like to be a man. But there are some things that are implied that men know about being a man. Just like there are things that are implied that a, wo that a woman can teach a girl as well as a man can teach a boy. It's implied. You don't have to read a book. You don't have to. You went through it. You had that experience. Now, you can do that with male figures in that child's life. As you highlighted, an uncle, a cousin, maybe a coach or a close friend. That's needed. But when you assume that none of that is needed, you open a door for not a fully fledged human as well as a man. And what I say by that, I remember a couple years ago, Uncle Tim, it was a big thing for women to go on social media and be like, I'm, the, you know, especially doing Father's Day. I'm the mother and the father. I'm the mother and the father. I'm the mother and the father. And I'm sitting there like. Well, if you're the mother and the father, you're a great mother. You're an awesome mother. But your kid got daddy issues. You're a shitty father. But you, you want to take credit for no, both. <laughs> you want to take credit for both. I'm sorry. You can't get credit. If your kid got daddy issues and you the mother and the father, you got to take credit for the daddy issues. No, but they want to sit back and say, you have a deadbeat father. Or something like that. That's now, I'm going to be honest with you now. I'm going to say this. And this goes into a lot of all of what we're talking about. Mm. People sit back and use that word deadbeat father. What does that mean? Deadbeat mm. father to a lot of people don't mean what you think it does. Mm. Deadbeat means sometimes that he's not going to get his son. Why he's not going to get his son? Because he can't. Ooh. Because she won't allow him to go get us his son. 
Now, see, we talk about this from every aspect, but you got to look at it from the biggest aspect. Mm. Mama controls everything. True. Mama can spin a narrative the way she wants. She can call you. You put your hands on her. You did all this. You ain't no good. Don't talk to him because all he'll do is fill your head with evil stuff. Man, I sit back and look at everybody posting that nonsense on Father's Day. You know, happy Father's Day, girl. What the hell are you telling her happy Father's Day for? She ain't no damn man. She don't know what it's like to be a man. Women and men are not the same. We're not equal. And I hate to say it like that. We're equal in a way, and I'm going to be honest. We are. But when shit go down, women do what? They defer to men. Baby, what we going to do? They, you know, it's not you turning, baby, what you going to do? No, what, what we going to do, baby? Yeah, and what? guess what? The man comes with... See, it's hard for a woman to teach a man how to shave. Well, she probably can teach him how to shave, but it ain't gonna make sense. You don't have none of this. Mm. Or how to use the condom, or how to, you know, I'm serious. Mm-hmm. These are things that you talk to with your son. The birds and the bees, you know, what it's like to be a man. What it's like to pay bills. What it's like to be black and a man. Mm. And I'm just saying, all of this goes along with it. Mm. You know, you can't take away nothing from a man, then sit back and blame everything on a man. So I'll say this on Tim. I saw a Facebook post, and this one, this one going to be, ooh, this one going to be talk right here. It said it was a story about a man who was not on child support, and he was giving the mother of his children, of his child, one child, he was getting the mother of his child $450 a week. $450 a week. Now, you do some quick math. That's $1,800 to $2,200 a month. And her friends said, hey, you need to put him on child support. He said, why would you do that? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Didn't listen. She put him on child support. She got $183 a month. And how much was he getting a week? Four fifty, and they say, is he wrong for not giving her the four fifty? No, the court justified this being right. Mm. If she would have shut up, got that money the way she was, no problem. He giving it to you with no problem. Your friends couldn't see you winning. That's what it was. Your friends were out there hating on you. Mm. None of them getting that amount of money in child support. You doing good. But hate on you. Let's bring it full circle. Now, that man is a bad father to a lot of people. Yeah. Because he he should have still give her the 450. Now, granted, we didn't talk about the lawyer fees he had to pay because she took him to court. We didn't talk about all the angst that you have and that. You just see the monetary aspect. Well, shouldn't he he should just voluntarily give more because it's detriment to the child. What role did the mother take in that detriment? Now she's going, on average, she's going to start to spew how she feels about the man to that child and say, you got a bad father. He should be giving us more money, but he's choosing not to. And ch- children don't understand courts. They don't understand, you know, what's mandated and all that stuff. They don't understand any of that. They understand that the parent that I live with just said the other parent is trash. So thus, in this case, the mother is saying that your father is bad and basically perpetuating that he's a bad man because he's not submitting to what the woman wants. You know what? I agree with that. I agree that if you would have just kept your mouth shut, you would have had this money. You said 450, right? 450 a week. Right? You know, for some reason, I thought that was two, I mean, every two weeks in my head. You said every week, brother. If I got it right, it might be 450 a month, but I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure it was 450 a week. You knew what her friends were getting at. If he giving you 450, that means he can give more. Mm -hmm. Maybe he couldn't afford more. That was just what he was giving you. Mm -hmm. And he probably couldn't afford that. But you went ahead and, oh my God, what idiot, what 
idiots she got for friends that will make her do something so detrimental. I know guys. To the I know guys going through it right now. See, you hit an ambulance because they understand that we're trying to revive this topic right here. (laughs) (laughs) I told you we ain't got no budget. We ain't got no budget. But with that said, I know guys going through it right now. They're like, why are you taking me to court when I'm doing everything you ask outside of court? You say, hey, I need, you know, 500, 450 a week or whatever. No problem. You need me to take my child every other weekend or every weekend, no problem. And then someone gets in their ear and say, no, nah, you he could do more. He could do more. He could do more. And then you go there and of course say, no, nah, he's actually doing more. Actually, he should be doing less. And then guess what? He's a bad father. And you go home and you spew that. Darius McQuarrie said this, child support is for the child, not for fair relationships. But you see, you know, when you throw that out there and you put it out there like that, Look at all of these high profile relationships and marriages. Remember Horace Grant's first wife? He was getting a ten thousand dollars a month for the child. Mm-hmm. Ten thousand a month. Now they had one kid together. The boy turned to eighteen. You know, man. Years later, he turned to eighteen. This boy had been on child support all day. Going on high lavish trips. She bought all these expensive cars. Taking people places, acting like she's balling. Brother, 18, she's sleeping on somebody's couch, saying that he won't pay for his son to go to college. What was all that money? Didn't you save some of it for him to go to school with? It's child support. Mm -hmm. And I agree with that. At 10 grand, though, look, most people don't make 10 grand in a month. They may take them three months to make 10 grand. And again, I've never been on child support and hope that I'm never am. But I'm assuming it's tax free. So you're getting 10. You're getting the straight 10. It ain't 10. Then you take out the tax. You're getting 10. And you telling me you couldn't put a couple grand. Let me put a couple grand in, a, you know, in something for, you know, for our baby. No, it's let me buy a new car. Let me get the newest this because you thought the money would never end. And again, see, what, what are you say- perpetuating? About the father now. He's only good for money. That's what you're perpetuating. And now you've instilled with him, I'm only good for money. Look at Earthquake. They had his uh, wife on Comedy Hype, right? Yeah, his no, ex wife. And man, she got on there and said, Well, you know, um, I wasn't raised to work. The man's supposed to work. Yeah, this. Brother, I could not believe it. It's like my soul left my body when I heard that nonsense. She said she wasn't raised to be the breadwinner. I'm like, wait, hold. So what happened was this man paid the child support off early because he was making double payments and everything like that. And she was calling him a bet. I said, wait, how, how could somebody not live over $3,000 a month? I'm like, wait, hold on. And then, you know, what you hear from a lot of people is that, well, you don't know how much it costs to raise a child. Look here. Some of you don't make 3000 in a month and you're surviving with children. So tell me how an extra, this is the other part. It's an extra 3000 You should still be making money for you to survive. It's not spousal support. It's child support. She it has no job. Support of child. Brother, these women who get this child support, some of these young ladies, they don't work. So you living, look at, look, oh my God, look at the guy, what's his name? Uh, he made the song Macaroni Time. Um, anyway, he's a Or Chicago Dwayne Wade, he's, Dwayne Wade, ex, ex-wife. You know, you, you oh, keep saying these things. That she, oh, she's homeless. She's out here living on the street. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe he gave her $2 million. He gave her $2 million when they got divorced. He has custody of the children. Now she's living on the street. What did you do with two million dollars? There are people who don't have. There are people who are turning sixty-five who got two million dollars as their nest egg, and they're gonna live the rest of their life on that. You took two million dollars and blew it, and now everyone's like, "Well, shouldn't he help support the mother of his children?" He has the children, so what support do I need of that woman? Wait, let me let me say this though. When you divorce somebody in real life, I'm talking about not celebrity. 
when you divorce your spouse, y'all don't have no kids. You don't owe them nothing. Once it's over, it is over. This is what I'm confused with. People make it seem like in special cases, when it's over, when you're rich, you should be taking care of that person. No. I don't need another child. I don't need another child. Huh? I don't need another child. This is what I'm saying. What is the purpose of this person? You know, okay, let me say it. Let me let me go here with it. Everybody threw a lot of shade on the way. They did. They threw shade on him because she was out in front of um what is that? The Daily Center with a sign saying she homeless and look what D Wade did to us. I'm sitting here like you a grown ass woman. You ain't got no job skills, no way to make money. Okay, you used to let them sleep on your couch, but one thing that people fail to realize, this is a whole different person now. You can't pull that same crap you pulled back on him when he was young. And he looking at you just like that. I'm D Wade. I won what, two or three rings. You know, and you treat me like I'm trapped. Like, come on. Horace Grant had to say it the best. He said, look, I supported my child till he turned 18. He said, I'm done with that. He said, um, he a grown man. That if you want to go to school, he need to find a way. And, you know, she was like, well, what they should do is they should extend the child support. But um, he can go to school. I said, wait, hold on. So if they extend the child support for him to go to school, who gets the money? It ain't been a child all these years. She's put nothing away. Even if she put $1,000 a month away, you still got $9,000 each month. And when your son, even if you started when he was, say, 10, okay, 8 years, 8 times 12, do the math. Put it like this. Chris Brown got a daughter named Royalty, right? He had it with this young lady when he was with uh, Ferrucci Trent. Mm -hmm. But anyway... He was giving the chick, like, I think, like 3000 or something like that, or 5000 a month. And, you know, she was talking with her lawyers, and they fighting back and forth. She want a house, you know, to raise the little girl in. And, you know, she want $10,000 a month. And I'm like, he paying for all the expenses. You are not paying for nothing. The medical, everything is on him. But, see, this is the thing. They said the child should be accustomed to the way the father lives. That ain't what child support is. It's child support to support the child. It's not to get you a better way of life, you know, to pay. This is not teaching you how real life is. Ain't nobody going to pay for a damn thing for you, honey. Mm, well, let's, let, let, let's, bring, let's bring it home. Let's, let's, let, let's slide okay. into home. All right. Again. I reiterate that child support is for the betterment of the child, not the adult, but the child. And it should be used as such. And when you don't do that, and we're not saying that every woman does that. We've never said every in any of this. But when you don't use it properly and you start to spew the negativity of what happens, well, you know, we didn't work out because he was this. You're thinking you're just voicing your frustration, but that child is taking it. Oh, he ain't nothing. Oh, he ain't nothing. He treated my mom like crap. He treat, there's two sides to every well, three sides to every story. It's the in a heterosexual relationship, it's the man side, the woman side, and the truth. You're only given one side. But that's the side, that's the only side that the child hears. He ain't nothing, he ain't nothing, he ain't nothing. And now, regardless if that child is male or female, you're spewing. That he is nothing. And that's what you're putting out to the world. And that's what that child is going to take. Basically, you destroyed his manhood already before he became a man. And you asking, can a woman raise a fully functioning man? No. She can raise a fully functioning human being. Mm -hmm. He's going to learn how to be a man from somebody else. But this is Tim 2.0. And that's big key. This is Slick, Tony Too Slick, um, <laughs> a.k.a. Big Keeson, uh, a.k.a. Raymond Reddington. Uh, again, think about what we said. And again, it's our opinion. Hey, we would love to comment with you. We would love to go have a positive discord. 
Like I said, salute.